as we enter into the Gospel of St. Matthew, it, it really was a moment for St. Peter to pause because he was thinking he had it figured out regarding forgiveness and reconciliation. And so he, he said to Jesus, yeah, is it right that we just do seven times? And Jesus surprises him. And he, he, he's using really a Hebrew moment. Anytime we hear the seven, the number seven, it is a perfect number. It's a number that represents God. And so Jesus says, no, not seven times, but 77 times. Forgive as God forgives. And then he says at the end of the gospel, the kind of forgiveness he's talking about is forgiveness from the heart. Forgiveness from the heart. Um, there's a true story uh, that uh, I'll share during this, this homily, and it starts with uh, a, a fellow that I met uh, in prison, and he was the one in prison. I was the one visiting him in prison, just in case you were wondering the way this was going, okay? So I met Matt, and Matt uh, was in the state penitentiary, uh, and we had, a, we had a really good team of prisoners, actually, that in, in that particular prison were our CIA directors. And they actually helped Matt come to the point where he realized who Jesus was in his life. And so when it came time for that Easter, Matt came up, and he received forgiveness of his sins. I mean, it was really a powerful moment uh, and a miracle, actually, when you have a prisoner that's willing to repent and willing to, to put their lives in the hands of Jesus and ask for forgiveness. Uh, in many ways, that first little piece of the story gets us into this gospel in which Jesus tells the parable of the servant who owed a great debt, and he ended up kneeling before the master, pleading for his life and the life of his wife and his children, and the master forgave him his entire debt. Now, that's a, really a glimpse of what God does for us, forgiving us our entire debt. And make no mistake, we all have a forgiveness debt, all of us. But he calls us to forgiveness and healing. Well, it turns out, as the story goes with Matt in the prison, that another particular prisoner was also in the same jail. His name was Javier, and he was part of a rival gang. And so those two guys hated each other. But they all kept coming to the worship service that we had there in the prison. And you, to give you the image, there were at least 400 guys there. And they were doing the music, the singing, the leading of the, the, the readings. They were doing everything. So these guys were really fired up in the Lord. And so it's in that spirit that Javier happened to be sitting in the row in front of Matt. And Matt's sitting back there saying, how in the world am I going to give him the sign of peace? How am I going to do that? And he actually placed it in the hands of Jesus. He said, Lord, I can't do it. I can't do it without you. Please help me. I give it to you. And when Javier turned around to give him the sign of peace, Matt's hand came up and greeted him. Now, Matt told me, he said, you know, I didn't do that. <laughs> I can tell you, I didn't do that. All I wanted was war with him. But it was Jesus who, who did that for me. And it's, it's a powerful, powerful moment. Now, the story is going to continue a little bit, but we enter into the gospel again, and we hear that the servant found another servant who owed him a little bit, and he threw the guy in jail and didn't forgive him his debt. Now, that one is really saying to us, 
Have we really forgiven from the heart? Have we really forgiven from the heart? Or when we go through our list of people that have hurt us, or the list of things that have happened, we still remember it and are holding on to it. Because Jesus is saying, give it to me. Let me take it. Let me free you from all that's taking place in your life. So we see a negative there that the servant was thrown in jail until he paid the debt up. So back to Matt and Javier. So the RCIA program in the prison continued to function. And of all things, Javier wanted to enter into the, the RCIA and become a Roman Catholic. And of all things, he asked Matt to be his sponsor. And when Matt and Javier came up to receive baptism, First Communion and Confirmation for Javier, and Matt put his hand on Javier's shoulder, I can tell you I had tears in my eyes. I had tears in my eyes. Because he wasn't the servant in the gospel. He was the one who actually forgave from his heart, and Javier forgave him from his heart. That is what Jesus is talking about. Forgiveness from the heart. It calls us, each of us, to that kind of forgiveness. Let's pray for that grace during this Mass that we may truly forgive one another from the heart.